another episode of ASFN. Um, yeah, it's locked down again. I know we're all feeling the, the pressure at the moment that we can't fish and stuff. It's it's quite hectic. I'm actually having withdrawal symptoms from not fishing. But yeah, be strong. Stay safe, uh, like always. And uh, hopefully in the next few, few days or weeks or hopefully soon, basically, we can get some good news that maybe as recreation anglers we can go and fish. I know we're all excited and all waiting for that there. Especially with the, with the news about the SARS moving forward. How true it is, we don't know yet, but there is rumors around that <clears throat> there was SARS at uh, Port Alfred. So let's hope and see. Maybe this might just pass and we'll be able to go and fish again. Thank you guys again for liking our videos, subscribing to the channel. We really do appreciate it there. And if you're new and you're watching the channel, please subscribe to the videos and uh, subscribe to the channel, like the videos. We appreciate it there. And if you guys didn't know, there's something called One Words, which ASFN started. And basically, us as recreation anglers, we are now going online, www.asfnfishing.com. Or if you check the link below, it will be in this uh, in the drop down on this video. It's where we need 100,000 applications to go through for appeal to let recreation anglers out to fish again during this lockdown period. So guys, please, we, we need the support. I know you guys also want to, to go and fish. So if you don't mind, just click on the link, click on one voice, put in the details. It's going to ask you for your ID number. It's safe. It's normal. The standard procedure just to verify that you are applying for it. The email address as well, if you have. If you do have an email and you put that in, you will automatically get a message that says that you have applied for the one, one voice uh, program and thank you for the votes and stuff so yeah uh, guys check it up and uh, let's get these numbers growing these numbers are growing at the moment but uh, let's enforce it more so today we're going to be talking about uh, edible fishing mostly so I'm doing a demonstration for you guys on Chaka down here on the south coast especially just during this time the winter time we get a lot of cob and uh, cob love Chaka so I'm going to have uh, a couple of demonstrations where it's going to be Plain Chaka and then Chaka and Sadi and, and I'll show you guys as well on one of the demonstrations how not to waste your Chaka. Chaka head is very important, most guys throw that away as well as the wings. They feel that it's not necessary, but I'll be showing you some baits. But today it's just going to be a, a simple Chaka bait. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. Alright guys, uh, this is the Chaka bait that I'll be using for Cobb. I've got a nice uh, Ed Marine Chaka. It's not so fresh, it's been lying in my freezer over the lockdown period. Yeah, let's make the most of it. I'll show you exactly what we do here. Yeah? Uh, first thing I do is I actually take off the skin. So I peel it off on the wings. I'm not going to throw the wings away. I'm going to use the wings for another bait. I'm just going to take all the skin off the chakra out. Try not to damage the wings there. Put this one side, and then we're going to take the head cuts out as well. Also, going to use that for another bait another time. Okay. Snip it open. This is all the juicy bits. Take out all of this, try to keep the guts and the head intact, like I said, we'll use that for another bait another time. Okay, once that's done, a nice, nice piece of bait here, turn the top off, we don't actually need that, perfect. Now we've got a chaka tea skin, it's still a little bit frozen, but uh, it's fine, we still work with it. But what I actually use uh, when I'm targeting cob, on this specific trace, this is a 7.0 mustard ring soy, and uh, not a high density float, it's, it's normal cushion foam, but I don't want the bait floating too much. I want you to be floating just above uh, the ground on the bank and stuff. And I've actually got a bass rattle in this. so. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but uh, yeah, 
that's just to create uh, more traction in the water so with that rattle it's gonna make the fish go crazy so that's what I actually use them as my hook line now what I do is I cut two pieces out so I start off from the side more like a diamond shape that's one all right do the same on the other side I just want to trim this out this is an untidy piece don't actually need that there do the same on the other side okay so you've got two nice pieces right here and now what we're going to do is we're going to cut two feelers just going to shape this off a bit more Just gonna cut two feeders. I just wanna see first. Now the bait is gonna be positioned. You can cut more feelers if you want. The more feelers are better for you. The sharpens in and out a bit. The exact same on the other side. Yeah. Keep it up a bit. Perfect. Now, what I do here is take my chocolate bullet and I beat this up. Make it nice and soft. Turn it over, do the exact same thing. Exact same thing with the other one. Beat it into a pulp. Perfect. Okay. Then what I do is take my hook, just in between the two feelers. I hook it there, turn it over, and I cotton that up. I'm going to cotton it up. Take that piece off. I'm going to my cotton. I'm actually using the medium latex cotton here. I'm just going to take this out, make it a bit easier for me to work with. Put that down. And start to bind it. Binding it nice and neatly. And keep going up. one done take the second one exact same thing but this one I'm not putting onto the hook just bring it there the exact same thing okay perfect Nice and neat. It's going to come up a bit here to the hook. A couple of hitches. Okay. And that's my cobbit. It's got nice feelers. Obviously, you put a bass rattle in. That's the eight. It's got these nice feelers that are there. And yeah, I'll throw this, this bait on a bank 
next to a bank but i love doing this onto a bank and yeah this will get you good results this is the bait that i actually use for targeting comb and mostly most edibles you can actually use it for but uh, the cob seem to love this it's a very very nice and juicy bait nice white meat as well uh, some guys do tend to put more chaka over i leave it like this here you can put eyes as well if you want to um, depending on the condition but i i leave it like this i i don't put any eyes on it um only time i actually do use eyes when i'm building a bigger chaka bait and uh, i'm actually targeting kidneys and stuff then i'll do it there but this is a deadly deadly cob bait so hope you guys liked it and uh, please try it and uh, let me know if you guys get success on it cheers Thank you.